So now what we are going to look at is this transfer function here. As you can see, it has a root at negative 12. And if you do the quadratic on this, you'll see that it will be complex conjugate roots of negative 1 plus or minus 3.873j. So in this transfer function, you're already going to know that the complex conjugates will be the dominant poles as they are going to be closer to the origin. So how we write this is numerator 192 then we go ahead and we write the denominator as you see it here or when you factor this out you will get this and that's why I have put that also so you can put it in either form And then now you're gonna go ahead and this line only, uh, this line of code only applies to if you're using this code right here. And if you're using this, um, you can just go ahead and do this. You don't have to do the convolution. So here we're gonna be convolving because it's gonna just go ahead and multiply these two together to get this right here. And then the le next line of code is just going to be saying that, um, it's going to get your transfer function. So if we go system one, this is our transfer function, which is what we see here, which is correct. So then what we do is we take the step of that. As you can see, this is the step. And then we go ahead and we hold on to it. And next is a second order, a reduced second order. So in order to keep the transfer function the same, what we do is we get rid of this um, pole that's a real pole. So what we do is we divide the numerator by 12 to get rid of this right here. And so when you go ahead and you do that, you do 192 divided by 12 and you get 16. So you could just write 16 right here. And then the denominator is going to be just this quadratic right here. And then this is the system two using these new reduced second order. So their gains are the same for the second and third order because when S goes to zero, you have a gain of one. So in this case, right in this case right here, when S goes to zero, you have 192 over 192, which is one. In the second order, you have a 16 up here, and then you have this. So when these go to zero, you'll have 16 over 16, which is one. So we have not changed the DC gain for these uh, reduced transfer function. So it is the same. Then we do the system, and then I've put in a legend to show you which is which. So if we go ahead and run this, and I've held both, can we run this, we got a steady state of one, which is what we calculated. We have a percent overshoot for the third order of 41.9% and 44.3% percent for the second order system then you can also do the settling time third order is 3.61 and the second order is 3.53